I was just going through so much to the point where I almost ended up quitting. You've probably already gotten to the point where you've been doing a lot of your research. You're tired of working the job that you've had for who knows how long, and you've decided that you want change. Enough is enough. And when you decide, finally decide that you get started in building a business for yourself working from home, in the beginning, you're met with a lot of resistance. And that resistance often comes in the form of family and friends from the people around you, from your loved ones. Because most people that get started in building an affiliate marketing business are often not really supported that much by the people around them. And these people are often their family, friends, loved ones, people around them, people that they even grew up with. And when they start opening up and say that I'm gonna start building a business for myself, these people are often met with ridicule, sometimes condemnation. These people that started in building an affiliate marketing business for themselves get so discouraged. They feel like, you know what? Maybe this isn't right for me. It's because they've gotten talked down on pursuing something that could potentially change their life. And this is what stops people from going forward, learning how marketing works so that they can build a successful business for themselves. This is what stops people in their tracks when they don't get that approval. It's because of that they don't get that approval that they're looking for from their loved ones. And so they question themselves whether or not this is something that's really meant for them. Can you relate to this? Because I myself can relate to this. And this brings me back to a couple of stories. One was from the very beginning in which I was faced with a choice between continuing on to a four-year university, continuing through the college roadmap education, or do I just drop it all together in pursuit of building an internet marketing business for myself? So I took the latter, and I recall the first time that I had told my family I dropped out of college in pursuit of something else, I got a lot of heat for it. And they were questioning me what whether or not I was gonna you know, go anywhere with my life. And all these doubts started raising in my head and I just started feeling so sad and depressed, feeling like I just don't have anyone that really supports what I'm doing. I feel like I'm all alone in this. Sure, I had the online community in which I was uh, greeted by uh, my coaches and mentors who are my coaches and mentors now, but Still, at the time, I, I just felt like I was just going through so much to the point where I almost ended up quitting. Fast forward two years later, going to my first live marketing event, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and ask my coach at the time about this issue I had been dealing with for the past couple of years. I had a private talk with him and I told him all about it. And I asked him, what if what if I become successful in this whole thing, but they still don't support what I do? And that was a fear of mine. I was afraid that no matter how successful I became at this, I was not gonna get that approval that I had been seeking for so long. And he got real personal with me and he said, Mark, it doesn't matter what they think, what matters is what you think. You've got to follow your heart. If it feels right to you, continue going forward with it because it's your life. It's not their life. If something happens in your life, whether that's good or whether that is bad, it's not going to affect them. And the fact that they're pushing their ideal image of what you should be like rather than listening to you on expressing what you want to be. Where's the true joy in that? And I remember that time I was just crying because my whole life I had felt like I was seeking approval from others 
in terms of you know how they think I should be like. I couldn't think for myself as far as you know what I think I should be like. And he told me something powerful that I'll never forget. He said, "Mark, you are the author of your own story. The pen is and will always be in your hand. Write your story and make it a great one. Keep your head down and do the work. The way that you handle the lack of support, whether that's from your friends, family, loved ones, don't talk too much about it. Now, I'm not saying that you should hide what you're doing, like you're so ashamed of it, but you don't have to be very vocal about it. Don't talk too much about it. If a family, friend, or loved one asks how your business is going, just say it's going good and change the topic. But you don't want to be vocal about it. Neither should you be hiding it like it's something that you're ashamed of. The next thing, and I just mentioned this a moment ago, just keep your head down and do the work. Do the work that it's going to take for you to be successful in this affiliate marketing business, whatever opportunity that it may be. Because if you're so focused on that lack of support and you're not doing the work, what good is that going to do for you? Now, I wouldn't advise telling friends, family, loved ones to just merely get out of your life, but just have a respect for whatever their opinions are because they are entitled to their opinions and you can't change that. But you also don't have to make those opinions your truth. And so what you can do instead is you can love and continue to cherish those people, but you do what you got to do. I understand that might be hard for you right now, especially if you've just gotten started and you're facing all of this resistance. But I'm going to be transparent with you. That resistance is bound to happen. You're going to struggle in the beginning. I'm not going to lie to you on here and say it's going to be easy. It's not. It will be a process. It will be a journey. But it will be worth it. Just remember, keep your head down and do the work. Just do the work. And you don't need to announce to people what you intend to do. Show it. Let your results do the talking. So I trust you got a ton of value out of this video. And if you're watching this from YouTube, here's what I want you to do. There'll be a link directly below in the video description for my number one recommendation for mindset transformation. I want you to click on that link, opt in with your name and your best email. You'll be redirected to a video presentation. Watch that video presentation all the way through and lock in your spot as soon as possible. So with that said, this is Mark Castillo, AKA the Digital Marketing Warrior. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching today's video. I trust that you got a ton of value and a ton of inspiration from today's episode. And enjoy your day, wherever you may be, whatever time that you're watching this from. I'll see you on the next video very soon. Take care.